Have you ever tried walking into the school hallway only to be met with a hallway full of students that you can't get to your next class, much less enter the hallway? That is how healthy cells feel when someone has acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. ALL is a cancer developing from an excess amount of immature lymphoblasts, a type of white blood cell. Usually, in a healthy body, the bone marrow releases hematopoietic stem cells that become myeloid progenitor cells or lymphoid progenitor cells. The lymphoid progenitor cells turn into lymphoblasts and then to B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, or natural killer cells. Only when these cells are mature are they released into the bloodstream or are put in tissues and organs. It is like if a hall monitor only releases those with a hall pass into the hallway, maintaining order and efficiency of moving to class. However, in patients with ALL, the hall monitor is gone, allowing immature students to enter, blocking the way for mature students. First of all, what causes ALL? The exact cause isn't known, but it was found that mutations in the DNA of bone marrow cells can turn normal bone marrow cells into leukemia cells. Mutations can include abnormal chromosome numbers, chromosomal translocations, deletions, or inversions. These mutations are not hereditary and are acquired during the person's lifetime, like by exposure to radiation or carcinogens. These mutations are dangerous because they cause the cell to lose their ability to mature into functioning cells and to divide uncontrollably, blocking crucial functions of the bloodstream. As a result, an ALL too many blood stem cells become lymphoblasts and are released into the bloodstream before becoming mature lymphocytes. Having a substantial amount of blast cells in the bloodstream can cause crowding, just like in school hallways, where healthy white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets can't enter the bloodstream because of the limited space. Healthy cells have the ability to control their division and can only reproduce if there's enough space in the bloodstream. However, in ALL, there's limited space in the bloodstream since it's full of lymphoblasts, making healthy mature cells unable to reproduce and enter. This crowding and decrease in healthy cells leads to the symptoms of ALL. The decrease in healthy white blood cells leads to vulnerability to pathogens or infection. The decrease in red blood cells leads to anemia. Lastly, the decrease in platelets leads to serious bleeding problems. As you can see, hallways don't only exist in school, they exist in our bodies as well. If crowded hallways in schools lead to tardiness, crowded bloodstreams lead to a decrease in healthy cells, which can lead to serious health problems, as seen in ALL. In the future, we hope to find the exact cause of ALL to eliminate it so no one has to face crowded hallways within their bloodstreams.